And welcome back to the coaches show here with Billings Wolves coach Chris Dixon. Welcome aboard, Chris. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Loving it. Getting excited, man. I am. I am. Now it's, you know, all of the back in off season work is over. You know, it's time to put it all in action. Um, all your thought processes, all your late nights of thinking about what you want to do and how you want to do it. Now you get to see how it works. Well, uh, what's it like? Uh, First of all, starting out as a coach this season and, and not a quarterback and a player. Well, it's different. You know, you, uh, you know, when you go in as a, as a player in the offseason, you, you, you tend to put in more work in the playbook and trying to think about how to get your teammates to uh, buy in into what you're trying to do as a quarterback and, you know, get, get on the same page with them. It's different because now I've created the playbook. Now... I'm trying to get players to bond and buy into each other and buy into what I'm trying to do. So the, the experience is definitely different, but you know, we're definitely starting to figure it out. And it's been, a, it's been a, a slow process, but it's coming along pretty good. You're always gonna have your first experience be different because it's new to everybody. I'm in a new position, this team is new. A lot of players together are new, but we're doing a good job of coming together and trying to figure it out. Coach, talk a little bit about your coaching staff. That's uh, got to be very important to you in this first year, uh, as you as a head coach, and also as this being the first year for the team. I'm excited. You know, uh, I'm gonna start off with Simon Bergen, um, our defensive coordinator. He's been he's played the game for about six years. He was a smaller DB, but he you know he always found his way to be on the field, always found his way to make plays, be in position to make plays. I thought it'd be a good move to bring him in because he. He's a great leader and understander of um, young men. And you know, with him being a high school counselor, it made it more sense that he can deal with the pressure of you know, breeding a young team. And so with that in mind, you know, he's, he's been a great teacher. He has a very you know, high motor, you know, very active guy into the defense. So it's been a great thing to watch them young DBs grow. And then we go to Steve Nieto, you know, our defensive line coach. About 27, 28 years of high school coaching experience. He's in a new position coaching. He's coaching the D-line. and He's usually been a receiver, offensive guy. But he loves the defensive line and special team side of it. And it's been a very great experience to see how our special teams are, believe it or not. I mean, I've never been anywhere where special teams was a high priority. And with our team, it's been a high priority. I mean, if you come out, you would think special teams is just as big as offense and defense with the way we practice and those type of things. And so it's been a great thing having, you know, Steve there and, you know, Anthony Parker, uh, he coaches college football, he coaches offensive line and defensive line um, in college football. And so he's played the game for eight years and watching him, and, but the O-line has been really a great experience too. And, you know, he really got them going in the right direction. And Adam Sanchez, head coach of the Shepherd. Um, mm -hmm football team and high school football team and he's been with our we have two sides to our offense um there's a quarterback running back side which is what adam take care of so what he does is he makes sure our running game between the quarterback and the running back is ready to go my job on the offensive side is the whole thing but also my main thing is the quarterback to receivers making sure that we're on the same page in, in those places so it's been a great thing, man. We got a real good organizational, organized thing going on, and you know we, we're, we're really excited. You know, you talk about special teams. With uh, how important is that uh, to you and to uh, the Wolves and the IFL? You know, it's, it's very important. I mean, if you can steal some points on a kickoff or steal a point on getting a rouge, what everybody needs to know what a rouge is is a guy catches it in the end zone. We tackle him in the end zone. As we coming down on the kickoff, that's a point for us. Right. There's games that be won by one point. We can use that point. And so with that in mind, it kind of made it a high priority to make sure our special teams is ready. Yeah, that's uh, you know that's special teams has really become a big thing, especially at the college level. I think you know it's always been that way to pro, but especially at the college level now. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, great coaching staff. From what I saw, you know, uh, out at the scrimmage the other day, uh, Saturday or. Sunday, yesterday, I guess it was. Uh, uh, I thought the guys did a great job. Yeah, they, you know, they flew around. I mean, I think, I think one thing you don't see much at a scrimmage is guys flying around. 
And I think we did a great job of flying around. We got, we got some things we need to clean up, which is always good. At this point in the season, you never want to be flawless. Because if you're flawless right now, you hit your mark. I like the fact that we got some growing to do, which tells me this team is maybe, you know, a little bit away, a little bit of ways away from being a, a playoff team, but they are a team growing every day. As long as we grow every day, I think we'll be fine. Well, that's uh, kind of the thing. You got to improve every day, every time you go out there, every game, every snap, every play, whatever. You got to improve and uh, continue to make yourself better as a player, as a coach, as a Geez, even us radio guys got to try it's to It's a high too. philosophy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You never hear me talk. I always say compete every day. You know, don't leave a day where you don't compete because that will be the day you lose. And so we compete every day. That's the thing. That word compete and be competitive every day is preached every day with our team. Anybody that watched you play, Chris, <laughs> understands that very, very well that uh, you, you love, love to compete and, right. uh, you know, it's uh, – Great, uh, great to have you back here coaching, and, and great to see you back in Billings. That's yeah. a, a lot better in Sioux Falls. We didn't, yeah, like, yeah, we didn't yeah. like you in Sioux Falls. I guess everybody Falls. likes me in red, but they just wanted <laughs> to see me in a coaching polo in red. <laughs> right, but, right. Know, I'm, I'm excited, man, and we're ready to get this thing going. All right, we're going to take us a two-minute timeout. We'll come back with General Manager Mark Burr, and then we'll talk uh, again with uh, Coach Dixon.